A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on the top 5 AI tools that you guys should use and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So in today's video, I am back. Here are 5 more AI tools that you probably didn't know about that are a little different from the ones that are usually out there on the internet like ChatGPT, Midjourney and others. And probably if you use them, it will add some kind of value to your life. So without any further ado, what's up guys, Anubhav here. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I've got my laptop here and uh, let's just get started. Roll the intro. The first tool on today's video goes by the name of Tome. And whether you call it Tome or Tomi, this is a really cool tool that lets you create super high quality presentations as well as PDFs, all just by typing about what you want it to be about. So as you can see, this is their homepage. And yeah, they're calling it the new era of storytelling. As you can see, Tome is the AI powered format for your work and for your ideas. Here's a little demo on the screen that you guys can see launch campaign for a new athletic apparel line all you have to do is hit on enter and there you see the application just generates a really clean and minimal looking stuff and of course you can customize everything on here to your own liking as well as the color palette rewrite it etc etc but overall it is really really cool now to get all of the features you do need a paid plan but there is a free option which i'm really happy about since most ai softwares nowadays have a paywall behind them but with this one you can create a free account and you can use it for free you won't get access to all the features but you can get an idea of what the application is just gonna work like so let's go ahead and try it and i'll show you guys how it works so let me just go ahead and hit on create over here now i'm gonna type uh, I think we have to log in again. So we'll just hit on sign in and go from there. Okay, so we've logged in. Let me just show you guys how this works. So what we're going to do is hit on create. And over here, you've got a bunch of options. As you can see, you can create a presentation, document presentation, create page, create image, uh, add text file, video tile, cable tile, Figma, etc, etc. We'll just go ahead and create a simple presentation or you can select the number of slides that you want. So let's do six pages is fine. Let's create a presentation about something really simple. See how the application does. So let's do it. The history of the universe and see what it turns out. Even the turnaround time is pretty quick. And I have to say, I really enjoy this card style material design UI of uh, the software itself. Hit on continue. It's generated a bunch of slides for us. As you can see, Big Bang Theory, formation of the galaxies etc etc it will also add really nice photos and you get as you can see i have 2075 ai credits left in the free one and just look at that that looks so professional and absolutely fantastic we've got uh, the title uh, the contents and of course detailed description of everything now of course you can go ahead and select stuff here go to ai edit hit on rewrite adjust the tone fix the spelling and grammar reduce it or extend it if you go to this colored palette option here you can change the theme from darks to let's say let's do ocean and see what that looks like that also looks really really cool you can go ahead and play it directly from here or you can export it to pdf or add a logo that will require you to get the pro version but honestly if you're a teacher or if you have a job or a position where you have to create lots of presentations and quickly i think this is a great tool that you can get a lot of use out of you also have a plus icon so you can add different tiles over here as you can see and you can also go ahead and add recordings as well as video recordings on the top as you can see overall it's just such a cool tool that i think all of you who make presentations and pdf files should have a look at be sure to check it out let's talk about today's video sponsor which is also a really cool ai tool this is called dvd video soft get video summary and you know a lot of times we want to watch a video but for some reason we don't have the time to completely watch it this is a free ai tool where you can paste the link of the youtube video that you want to watch and it just runs through an ai script over the video and gets you a very nice and accurate summary of that entire video it with a very quick turnaround time so as you can see what i did over here was copy and paste my latest setup tour video link which by the way if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it i'm sure you like it and i pasted the link here i hit on get video summary it just takes a little bit of time as it collects the video data, gets the full text, categorizes the texts into different parts and analyzes the text with a neural network to go ahead and show it to you. As you can see, if we go and see 
how it works. The tool works with GPT artificial intelligence, latest generation. They select the capable ones and interact with them. And it's just really cool. You can also go ahead and see a example. But you saw how quick that was and it's already gone ahead and you know created a pretty accurate i would say i was very surprised with the parts that it decided to skip the parts that it decided to include to just create an overall uh you know very nice sort of uh, uh summary of a video you can go ahead and copy the text and paste it if you want it somewhere i really really liked it because sometimes when you don't want to watch a 15 minute video you can read this summary in less than 30 seconds the link will be in the description below be sure to check these guys out highly highly recommend and also a huge shout out to dvd video soft for sponsoring this segment of today's video with that said ladies and gentlemen let's move on to the third app on today's list which is an amazing ai tool right now which is taskade you guys have heard me talking about taskade way before any ai tools were integrated into it because it was such a cool remote collaboration application that i had to recommend it now taskade has a bunch of ai features where you can create different projects just by typing in a couple of words you can create different mind maps different you know task lists just by entering how you want the task list to be structured like you've got an ai generator different tasks and projects the ability to add note documents mind maps video chat and overall i would say if you are looking for an application or a service which is a remote team app like notion or asana etc but you want the added functionality of ai taskade is absolutely amazing it replaces chat gpt jasper and copy.ai at the same place it is really cool and of course it's completely free to go ahead and try out add your team members so if you need a collaborative application where you track different projects where you create different tasks lists with your friends or with your colleagues taskade ai is something that you should really try out there are so many features that this video would be an hour long if i go ahead and show you every single thing but trust me on this taskade is just a powerhouse application and anybody who wants a team collaborative app should check it out even if you're a solo person it will save you a lot of time to be productive in everyday life it will be linked below be sure to check it out with that said guys at number 4 we've got a pretty cool video editing application or service that uses ai to edit videos in a way that you have never seen before this is called descript.ai and you know there's a very different way of editing videos so every time we edit videos you usually look at timeline based editors like premiere final cut uh, you know after effects etc etc but descript.com just takes that to a different level as you can see on their website this is basically a script based editing system where as soon as you import a video clip onto it the ai tool transcribes that into text and then if you remove certain parts of the text from the transcript the video just cuts off that part and that is how the video editing is done you can use it for video editing podcasting screen recording transcription clip creation and publishing as you can see this is how it works you can add different captions add different scenes overlay b roll overall you just have to try it to really get it it's really interesting and of course you can try it for free so let's go ahead and open it up right now since i did go ahead and download it to demonstrate it to you guys So as you can see I'm using the free version of uh, Descript. Let's just open their demo project so that I can show you guys briefly how this works. So as you can see this is the demo project and uh, this is basically the editor. So the timeline is way down here at the bottom. You don't really need to use it mostly. As you can see whenever you drop a video clip into it, it's going to create a transcript of it and if you add these forward slashes that basically creates a separate scene for that. Now let's see hi everyone it's tip welcome back to my kitchen is the first line and if we remove this line after that the part is basically cut off from the video which i think is really really cool of course you can have the different options like you know adding stock footage right over here as you can see just go to videos and you'll find lots of different stock footages that you can add you can add gifs images as well as audio you can go ahead and record right here itself audio or camera or both with a screen recording you can add different titles you can also add different types of shapes as you can see over here and of course you can go to the templates and add different animations and intros and stuff if you want to but the entire point of this video editing software is that it is a text based software so if you want to go ahead and create a different section let's say i want to add this section to be a separate section we can just completely go ahead and do that it is super simple all you add is a forward slash 
and then another forward slash at the end of it and as you can see now that is a separate part and of course you can go ahead and click on this thumbnail you can add a scene above this or a scene below this it's just really cool like if i go ahead and select here and add let's say a clip of a kitchen it should work really well let's see what we have okay so we have this let's just load that media onto here And there you go. So now at this part, you can see we've got the clip of a kitchen. The part only stays up to that scene. So that is also particularly interesting. Overall, if you've tried normal video editing apps before and you couldn't really figure out how to do it, or you just want a different video editing experience altogether, Descript might be worth your time, especially if you do a lot of video editing, which has a lot of voiceovers, a lot of podcasts, stuff like that. Be sure to check it out. All right, guys, with that said, let's move on to the last uh, AI tool in today's list. This is a little low key, a little more fun than actually useful. It's called Lexica, which basically just uses the Lexica Aperture module to create and generate different kinds of art forms. You know, I wanted to include Mid Journey and others, but most of them, as I said, are paid or have a super long turnaround time or a wait period. I wanted to give you guys something that you guys can use right now after you watch this video. Lexica is just that. Not only only can you go ahead and search for different AI generated artworks, you can also create them yourself which will be unique. You can also go ahead and upload your own photos and make AI art that looks close to them just by changing a bit of things here and there. You can go really crazy with it so let's just go ahead and say we want to see, uh, what do we want to see? I want to see Jon Snow wearing a kurta in the streets of Rajasthan. Let's see what it comes with. Let's go ahead and hit on generate. Let's go ahead and see what it tries to create because yeah, these are the things that you can do, right? You can just do whatever you want. It's really, really cool. As you can see, I did one with Emma Watson wearing an orange sari in the background of old telly. I put in a couple of prompts here and uh, yeah, let's see what the application comes up with. As you can see, we've got John Snow right there wearing a kurta. <laughs> I think this is, I, I think this is the one that looks the closest. It's still a little different. You can outpaint it, so generate a wider image of it. Let's just generate variations of this one. Let's see what it comes up with. Overall, I think this is a very cool tool to brainstorm different kinds of settings and just overall have fun with. Uh, let's see what are the different options that it comes out with. And, uh, you know, you can create, okay, I like this one. I think, I think this is the closest one that looks like that. Let's go ahead and outpaint it. So create a wider version. Uh, you know, you can just use this tool to have a lot of fun and uh, create different kinds of uh, artwork that you normally can't create. And you can also go ahead and download them. It is completely free. I like, I think this one has a nice, okay. And this one, this one, this one, or this one. No, this is a little weird. I think this one I really, really like. So go ahead and download it. And there you go. You've got Jon Snow on the streets of Rajasthan. Doesn't exactly look like Rajasthan. It looks more like Turkey. But you get the idea. You can have a lot of fun with it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, these were once again five other AI tools that you should go ahead and check out. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. All the tools will be linked below. Be sure to check them out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. This is Anubhav signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.